All right, so part two for the 3.8 liter uh, automatic transmission service. Um, <coughs> like I was saying in the uh, previous bit of the version, uh, or the previous video, the uh, uh, transmission fluid started gushing out about a half quart out of the uh, fill hole, which was a little unexpected. All in all, what it ended up draining out was uh, just a little over four quarts. Now. Uh, with the fluid pump and the ZF lifeguard transmission fluid that I put in, I only ended up putting in about three, three quarts of the fluid, just a little over before the fluid started gushing out. Uh, well, not gushing out, but started dripping out. Now, under normal circumstances on most vehicles with a sealed transmission, uh, the fluid is normally, uh, it, it's a lot like a transfer case um, or a rear differential. Uh, the fluid, either you could put your finger in and you could touch the fluid right there, usually at the top, unless it's a little bit lower. Uh, or you can see a little bit of fluid dripping out the second that you pull out the fill plug. In this case, about a half quart came straight out of the fill plug. So I'm hoping that the vehicle was just a little overfilled. Um, now, uh, like I said, I added the new fluid, went ahead, put back in the uh, drain plug, put back in the fill plug after I added the fluid uh, with, the, uh, with the pump. Now, just in case some of you guys are a little confused on how uh, fluid pump works, just a quick illustration, nothing serious. Uh, basically, you just hook the pump up to the actual quart or the gallon, whatever that you have, uh, and uh, just attach a little, the little thing that would come with it to help siphon the fluid out uh, once it starts getting lower, because uh, the uh, actual nipple on the assembly itself will only reach so far. Uh, then once you get in there, it's a one-way pump. It's going to pull it straight out of the bottle and then shoot it up through the hose into the inlet. So this is the first startup uh, since I put in the new fluid and hopefully everything's going to go well. Um, whenever you do engine oil or transmission fluid, uh, after you start the vehicle, you want to give it a second. <laughs> in this case, uh, the rule of thumb for transmission Anytime you do anything with the transmission fluid, you want to give it about 10 seconds and you want to work your way through each gear. Once all the way down and once all the way back. So it's been roughly about 10 seconds. Let's go ahead, let's put her in reverse. Give her 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's put it in neutral. Give it about 10 seconds. Like I said, we just did the transmission flush, so you want the fluid to work its way through. Two at one, put it in drive. Give it about 10 seconds again. Now my vehicle does have the Tektronic, so what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna put it over into it. I'm not actually gonna shift through, I'm just putting it over. Now it's just like any other gear. Once you shift back, give it 10 seconds. Now, if the fluid was overfilled, uh, the vehicle may actually perform slightly better now. Uh, like I said, I did just do a drain and fill. Uh, I don't have the $10,000 machine that I'm willing to do just for this particular fluid. And then work your way through the, uh, through the gears again. Back down and up one more time. Make sure reverse works. Drive pulls forward. Neutral does nothing. And park. Beautiful. All right, so we're gonna go ahead. We're uh, I'm gonna pull it out. I'm gonna move all the tools out of the way. Then we'll do a quick little test drive. Um, and I'm hoping this video will help somebody.